This is 20 minutes of the best CS2 tips and tricks where I show off new insane plays, utility, boosts, and more, so lock in and get ready to be amazed by the pros. Monsey at long is going to ping for the boost to peak A here with an op and you're going to see that it's going to set him up here and he knows the flash is coming and then he's going to get the second pick. Monsey is in an unwinnable 1v4, it's going to fall back here and as he does so, he wall bangs Jame jump spotting and he's going to throw the op away. Imperial are going to do the short sandbag boost which is legit a cheat code guys. This boost is overpowered and always lands you at least one free frag. No way smokes off mid banana towards the sandwich divided area then him and Phelps are going to push up where they're going to boost on top of the bench to see over the wall and smoke. Phelps is going to push short and he's going to smoke out the T's Molotov in advance then throws this self pop flash which you could use in a pug play. Exertion pushes short, smokes out the T's Molotov and then he's going to throw a nade that bounces off here that is going to break open the T's short pipe smoke and his teammate here, Suhi, is going to throw a flash that is going to bounce off this wall that lands behind him as he pushes and it's not going to blind him. Thank you to Skins Monkey for sponsoring today's video. They are one of the best and easy to use CS2 skins trading site. All you have to do is select your skins you don't like, pick out new skins you do like, and now you have a nicer inventory. Skins Monkey is not just a trading site. You can buy skins with a 35% deposit bonus using code NART. Don't forget the freebie section where you can get free skins. Skins Monkey also provides 24-7 support. Click my link below in the description to get a free $5 on your trade. Please support me by using code NART for all the extra bonuses. Let me show you three off angles that Imperial uses on B site. First off, there's this tight one from Vinny. Then he's going to move over once he got spotted and repositions towards this left one. While Vinny is holding Monster, his teammate Distancy is going to hold off short with this other off angle behind the sandbag. Drop safely in the pit after. I seen Suhi with a short pipe wall bang. All you have to do is aim at this yellow sign at the red part towards the first part of the letters and it's going to punish the T's pushing out. Ecstatic are going to use this boost that I showed in the last video where the top player boosted will not be able to be spotted from any T's that are inside water. Suhi from inside connector is peeking from this left cubby and he's not able to spot the boost at all. I'm going to show you three nades from this round here. Sphinx is going to Molotov short, then he is going to throw a short pipe smoke that puts out the CT's Molotov, while the CT has a nade here to break open the smoke for that double peak for short pipe. Pros are using this lineup to smoke a stairs, crouch behind the bench, aim here below the mark, then jump throw, then Major is going to follow up with the A God Flash. A execute nades from Electronic who gets dropped an extra smoke. First he is going to smoke a stairs, he is going to Molotov off truck, then he's going to smoke bank and then lastly he's going to throw a flash on the fly here. James shows the correct way to flash monster aim at the left eyeball then left click throw which is going to blind anyone holding up close monster. Then James is going to throw two more flashes that will help his teammates entry up into B site and then lastly he's going to follow it up with the icing on the cake that haven't smoked. Grim throws insane B flashes that land behind the pillar and his teammates entering up short are not going to get affected by the flashes because they land far enough to go behind the pillar and these flashes are super effective as you'll see they blind the barrel player as well as the heaven player in other positions too. Insane B nades from a static you're going to see two Molotovs one for short and then one for the boost you're going to see the short pipe smoke. And then these two players are going to set up for a nade stack for barrels. Patty, the right player, wanted to give the nade to Nodios, but then he changes his mind and he does his own lineup here and almost takes out the CT barrel. Art playing inside pit and his teammate is towards barrel with the defensive smoke up. He holds this angle where it's a headshot angle and the T's entering into sight are not going to be clearing. Acor feels the AX cute coming and he is going to go ahead and nade the long position where the T side player is often throwing utility from. G2 are going to boost two players on top of boost where Monacy is on top. He can see over the boost smoke and that is going to allow him to get this frag here. If you're on eco and you know that the T's have been throwing the boost smoke, definitely get into this boost here which is going to set you up to get at least one. Zaiwu is going to smoke boost and this is one of the best lineups because you'll see that the smoke is going to force electronic off the boost because he tries to expose to see if he can see over the smoke by going towards the edge of it. However, he's unable to do so. Rob smokes bomb banana, stand behind the barrel, aim here, then jump throw. The smoke is also going to block off T-stairs and FaZe are going to use the smoke to take banana control. 
Flame Z before peeking long is going to throw a flash inside this cubby that is going to land behind him and it's not going to blind him and it forces Perfecto to look away which then when he looks back Flame Z already has the advantage. Here's one way Navi takes banana control. First off, we're going to see Alexa be at Coffin, flash for JL. Then he's going to smoke it deep, and then he's going to Molotov half wall. JL is at Sandbags, waiting for the smoke from the T's to end. Then he's going to call for this nade set, and then he himself is going to Molotov deep, and then he is going to nade, and then he's going to peek, and he's going to get the frag here. FaZe are going to delay rush up banana and Brokey is going to throw these two banana flashes and afterwards he's going to get in front of the railing where he's going to smoke CT, aim here, walk forward, jump throw, then he backs up where he's going to aim here, walk forward, jump throw for the coffin smoke. While he's doing that his teammate is full sending it up B. JT throws a banana retake flash then he's instantly going to do this lineup to smoke off coffins then once he gets it without moving his mouse jumps over the wall stands in this corner then W jump throw complexity pair this up with a CT smoke in order to retake banana and rush it. This is how Rob smokes off coffin crouch in front of the half wall put your crosser like this then once you have the lineup stand up and jump throw. I know I showed Rops throwing this Absler smoke in a couple videos ago, but I did not know that this smoke has this huge cover that it actually blocks off short, allowing your teammates to safely push up. One of G2's favorite setups involves this one here, which Monsi with the best mid spawn is going to hold mid cross with an op. He gives the clear to Hunter to go ahead and push down. This delay push works really well because T's had already advanced up mid and they're already jumping up into apartments and they're not expecting Hunter to be delayed push there. Elise is going to recall his CSGO nade set on Inferno where he's going to throw the defensive mid Molotov for second mid. Then he throws a smoke off this wall and recall in CSGO this smoke would allow you to go ahead and lurk towards the right give you that signature one way. Doesn't work out here because Flame Z is already pushed up. A lot of teams are using the VP app setup that involves your right foot jiggle peeking window to allow your opera to set up to hold only the left side of the apartments. I've seen probably 5 different teams using this setup at the major. Despite the CF2 devs nerfing some silent drops, this one here from floppy from the apartment window is still going to work. This is the second time I showed this with being the first time two months ago from JT. Floppy is going to Molotov apartment window and what's special about this lineup as you'll see it bounces off the doorway here and it goes and covers off this side of the boiler as well as this side of the long hall. Mossy shows new triple Molotov lineup I've shown this in the past but showing it again here because some players I saw at the major were still using the old lineup which the Molotov does not cover anyone holding behind new box. Zentaris is going to nade top banana car from fountains. He has this easy lineup here. You can see it's visible even if banana is smoked off. Right after throwing that nade, Zentaris is going to get into first orange's crouches where he's going to throw a defensive Molotov and flash using that dot lineup. Speaking of defensive Inferno B nade sets, we've got an insane one from Major who smokes off banana, throws his Molotov that bounces off the wall that lands inside pool in front of the smoke delaying the T's making it hard to entry in. If you're long and the T's have their motor smoke up and you have a smoke, throw your smoke in front of the motor smoke, jump on top of the box, it's going to give you a nice smoke to get into sight. Jamin Moto anticipates the AXQ and throws his own defensive smoke in front of the motor smoke which is allowing him to go ahead and give him cover to push through that T's moto smoke to jump on top of the graveyard here which he does twice. You can see how effective this smoke can be used whether if you want to go towards graveyard or if you want to go into towards sight. After Payne's defensive Molotov at mid ends, you're going to see NQZ throw a nade, then he's going to follow with a flash and you'll see from the T's perspective that the nade is going to force him to look away because he thought it was a flash, then he's going to get flashed. Blitz Molotov's off boiler which allows his teammate to peek from the other side of mid and you're going to see that the Molotov gives him full cover to do so. Fame is going to throw a top banana flash from Coffin and what's so unique about this flash here is that it will cover and blind any T's holding from top half wall that's standing behind that wall which the normal flash would not cover. Hooksy shows two flashes from coffins for banana for Niku who's standing at the corner. The first one is the standard top banana flash for him to clear car. Second flash here is for deep banana which the first flash is not needed. Niku is going to peek off the second flash here lineup and he's going to get two. Nexa has a full nade set in order to retake B, he's going to Molotov new box, he's going to coordinate the double nade sack for dark, smokes off banana, throws a flash towards banana and peeks towards pool as the flash forces the pool and site players to look away. 
Major smokes top mid from the bottom left of T stairs, aim here, then jump throw. LXB smokes top mid from Mexi, he's going to aim at the tip of that corner of the roof, then jump throw. Easy lineup. Kerrigan is going to Molotov off long, and you're going to see that the Molotov is going to cover left and right side, helping take mid control, however, it does not fully reach the cubby. Nico's going to smoke library from mid position with the small wall, aim as shown, then jump throw. Axel on top of half wall standing behind this roof is going to throw a B nade set that involves a jump throw for the CT boost smoke. Then he is going to jump throw this dark Molotov. Really effective play from Cloud9 where you're going to see a nade stack towards Banana with two nades and Hobbit is going to peak car and he's going to catch Zaiwu here. You see Perfecto nading deep, Hobbit nades logs, Zaiwu goes towards logs and eats a shred full of nades. Perfecto is going to go for the van apps peak and before he does so he's going to throw his flash off the wall in case there is a fast boost. Mizzino is playing shadow and he's going to get Molotov out and he's going to throw a smoke in front of the Molotov here that acts as a defensive smoke so when the Molotov ends he's able to go back and then he can play inside the smoke or cross the default as well. Hobbit has a very easy lineup to smoke bottom connector, aim at the middle of the satellite then left click throw. Did you know you could use the graffiti as a timer? So when you plant, go ahead and spray the ground with your graffiti as you're planting. You can use the graffiti menu as a timer when the C4 is gonna go off. So you will know at the 10 second mark as well as the five second mark. CS2 is pay to win confirmed. Vinny is going to wall bank here again where he's inside hut. All you have to do is aim top right of the A sign. That's gonna clear out any CTs holding this very close tight position. Rain goes for the attempted wall bang on this left side of the vent and unfortunately he is not going to be able to connect because as you'll see this vent on the left side you cannot shoot through this side at all. Then Rain is also going to try to wall bang this right side of the vent and for Rain if you guys don't know this side of the vent you can wall bang through. Destin is going to hold this off angle where he's crouched on top of this railing behind this crate and you just have to avoid the flashes that come through. Kerrigan is not going to expect this angle at all. Complexity's new eco play here, which involves the standard ramp trophy radio room that is going to involve two players waiting towards the right of the wall. Then you're going to break the smoke and the T there is not going to expect it. Last week, I showed Rob's throwing this nade set, which involves a deep radio smoke followed up with the Molotov. The Molotov is going to cover the whole room and the only positions the T's can be in is towards this left wall, which he spams. If there was nobody there, that is going to allow him to push through like last video. So these two nades will help you dominate radio control so you can go ahead and take it yourself. NKZ is going to go for the surprise door peek towards main where he does not break the door open. Instant nuke door lurk smoke. So you get the lineup without moving your mouse, go ahead and run forward. Then before you reach the truck, go ahead and jump throw. The smoke lands through the back window and the smoke is going to bloom fast enough to where one player can come out door very fast to rush upper as it puts out the CT's door Molotov. Very meta nuke T play here where you throw the waterfall main smoke and then you're going to have one player top silo throw this AT nade to break open the smoke and you want to pair that up with somebody flashing main. Perfect coordination from Pain Gaming where Big Uzir is going to get run boosted so he could avoid the CT outside Molotov and this is going to allow him to get into main and sneak into very fast which you see that these CTs are not expecting at all. Big Uzir sees the standard nuke outside smokes and he's going to sneak towards the back of the smoke here where he is going to be able to hide behind the smoke as cover and peaks at the perfect time. Henny makes an insane play. First, he breaks the smoke. He does not spot anybody, but the smoke comes back up and he knows the team might be able to be still there. So he flashes, jumps down with the flash and the flash lands behind him. So he does not need to look away. Meanwhile, Salazar is forced to do so. Suhi throws an insane A supported defensive flash from the back left corner. Aim here, then jump throw. Brolin swings from the left, the flash lands behind him so it's not going to affect him. If the T's throw their A smokes, the flash lands inside the smoke so you're not going to be able to dodge it. If you want to peek upper ramp from yellow, go ahead and throw this Molotov that is going to push back any CTs that's holding the off angle which is going to allow you to do so. Torsi is going to throw a connector elevator smoke for mid, he's going to get fast boosted, then he's going to go in position with his yellow line next to the beam, crouch, aim as shown. Then while crouch, move two steps forward and jump throw. Then he's going to go on the stairs and he's going to flash his teammates out mid. 
if you smoke ramp and you want to push down yellow towards gap go ahead and make this jump and the reason why art does this is so he can't get spotted by the opera who is on the back and can see towards ivy with that gap if you don't know how to smoke ramp calyx is going to show you with the set lineup stand with that circle aim here then without moving your mouse run forward and left click throw Waxik is going to get run boosted off of sight and he's going to try to get towards the platform however misses he peeks into three if Waxik was run boosted towards the platform he could have may have gotten away with it Wikadia starts towards Ivy and he is going to delay this Molotov and then he is going to use a Molotov to give him space and cover to go ahead and hit this wall bang onto Snacks who is holding from the bottom right of ramp. Brolin is going to smoke yellow and he uses smoke to his advantage as the smoke is going to give him cover to come out where he can hold the gap inside of yellow which allows him to hit this wall bang. Big Uzera is going to entry up towards ramp and look how he positions. He crouches along the yellow wall here so the CT that is pushed up will not be able to spot him. Roman with the area 51 Molotov where he has this set lineup stand next to his box. Aim here without moving his mouse. He moves over and then he's going to run forward left click throw. If you have a main bottom ramp control, you need to hold this off angle in position because it is going to give you the shadow advantage information, which we see Lux gets a hold of and he's able to peek knowing that there is a T there. Again, later into the round, we see the same situation happens. You can also use this position on the T side if you are watching the ramp flank, which happens with Grim holding that same angle in position. Sadoto is going to smoke back generator, stand next to his box, aim at this mark, then left and right click jump throw. Then he's going to come over here and Molotov quad. The thing about this smoke is that it covers both left and right side. JT shows a easy connector smoke from the sandbag. Go ahead and stand and aim at the top left of the shadow jump throw. Then he's going to follow it up with a short flash. The smoke is going to go through the window. And Pierre are going to do the B main boost, but we're going to see Henny throw the small toff and smoke. And you're going to see that they boost inside of the smoke. And that makes it appear that nobody is here. And you can see that Henny can see all the way towards back of B main. If you're at the T holding from outside B, you're definitely not going to be expecting this type of boost behind the smoke. Hooksy from the back left platform of B is going to throw this flash that lands above the wall with a left and right click throw that won't blind him. Now this is a different lineup than the Nico one because the Nico one involved a jump throw. G2 are going to retake cave with two CTs here and Hooksy is going to set up to throw this flash in order to allow them to do so where they push in and they're going to frag and trade out evenly. This T here along this wall gets super blind stands, no chance. Hunter's holding this tight angle, jiggle peeking with a nade prime. Once he makes contact, he's going to throw the nade, which does decent damage onto the CTs. Queenix is going to throw a main retake nades from the back of A site, where he's going to throw this smoke for a main. Then he's going to follow up with the Cubby Molotov. He throws his nade set after the T's throw their A main nade set. Flamesy shows us the right way to Molotov off mid door where you're going to see that the Molotov covers all of the door side pushing out a leash. Kerrigan at the Copenhagen Major went through smokes about 10 different times that I counted and saw and 8 out of those 10 times it worked for him where he's able to backstab the enemy to catch them by surprise. He even came out in an interview that he was doing this as well. Device from the far right spawn has an instant mid elbow smoke that is going to put out the CT's mid Molotov. He throws his smoke instantly when freeze time ends and this smoke allows his teammates to freely come out mid without having to pull out smoke to put out the Molotov. Axel is going to make a very aggressive play before pushing to A main he is going to fake the smoke to make it look like he smokes it off and nobody is going to be pushing through. The T is going to do the body wall bang and you don't need to do the boost. You can see that this player is on the back wall using this line up here. Someone tell Valve that this is not a feature and that this is a bug which we see Wonderful go ahead and sneak through the smoke and he stand behind the smoke next to this molly and doesn't take any damage and the T is coming out of main does not think that anybody could be there and it's super hard to spot him too. Hobbit and Boomich have this duo play that you're going to see that Hobbit is going to Molotov deep banana. Then he's going to set up to throw the door smoke and then he's going to flash banana for Boomich who's already pushed down, peeks off the flash, gets a frag. Meanwhile, Hobbit rotates over and wall bangs shelf and gets a frag from this as well. We got an instant B long smoke from spawn 2. So what you have to do is you're going to put your crosshair like this. Then hold WD at the same time and when you get close to the wall, jump throw. Just be careful of your teammates blocking you and also give 1-2 to two seconds to run away to avoid them or else you're going to mess up your smoke potentially. 
If you play on stage, pros will use the crowd to their advantage to get info like Nico does here in this 1v1 clutch. Watch this. Got the info. Might Nico trying the to HP. get help from the crowd. But Brolin knows exactly I think what it's fair play. No so what, are you gonna cry Brolin about it? Your no fault that you're not popular, oh, huh? Sure. Your fault! Your problem. fault! We're G2, baby! Brolin we got a whole bunch of fans in the crowd! Oh my god, he's saying this. Masi makes an insane Eco Zeus play rushing up yellow. If you find this video helpful, please smash that like button and don't miss out on insane pro plays by subscribing to the channel and see you guys in the next one.